drag trailer winches are designed to easily launch and retrieve your boat in minutes, simply with the touch of a button. All the track trailer winch models will install and operate similarly. Before installation, please consult your owner's manual for safety issues and warnings. Be thoroughly familiar with the controls and safe operation before using the trailer winch. Install the track electric winch in the same location as the existing hand winch on the trailer. Remove the hand winch from the winch stand. If your winch stand does not have three holes, you may have to drill two holes for the bolts, which are located at the rear or label end of the winch. Locate the three mounting bolts that came in the box. Remove the nuts and washers, but leave the retaining rings on the bolts. The bolts will be located at the rear end of the winch below the label. Insert the head of the bolt into the keyhole on the bottom of the winch. Slide the bolt along the slot. Tighten the retaining ring to hold the bolts while you lower the winch onto the trailer's winch stand. Align the bolts with the bolt holes on the winch stand. Install the flat washer, lock washer, and nut. The winch cable and bow eye should be at the same height when the boat is in the fully loaded position on the trailer. To achieve equal height of the winch and bow eye, raise or lower the winch stand. You may have a trailer that requires a bracket or alternative winch stand. Consult with a trailer dealer or boat repair shop for help. Track trailer winches come with 10 feet of battery wire, which is plenty to reach the rear of the tow vehicle or a nearby battery. There are three common ways to get 12 volt power to the winch. You could place a battery on the trailer, or you could secure a battery at the rear of a truck. A quick note about these two options. If you use a standalone battery, it needs to be a deep cycle battery the type which is used to power electric trolling motors. The last option is the best option, and that is to use the battery in the tow vehicle to power the winch. When the vehicle is running, the generator is putting out more power than a standalone battery, and by using the vehicle's battery, you don't have to buy or maintain another battery. You might be thinking most newer trucks and SUVs have a 30 amp circuit located with the round trailer wiring plug. Even this 30 amp circuit is intended to power things like lights in a large RV or trailer. Trailer winches can exceed 30 amps of electrical current, so the fuse may blow when using this circuit. We do not recommend using it. We recommend wiring the vehicle with a 50 amp dedicated circuit. The parts required are available in a vehicle wiring kit from Track. It installs by running wire through or under the vehicle from the rear of the vehicle to the battery and installing 50 amp connectors on the vehicle and also the winch battery wires. Once the wiring is complete, connect the winch battery cable to the winch and tow vehicle. Now that we have a 12 volt, 50 amp circuit, let's continue with the trailer winch operation. To operate your track trailer winch, locate the wireless remote or connect the wired controller to the side of the winch. Turn the light on to confirm the winch has power. Turn the light out. It's important to note that you can power the winch out, but you must always put some pulling force on the cable so the cable does not tangle on the spool. The winch will also free spool out. To free spool, loosen the black wing nut and turn the gray clutch knob counterclockwise to release the clutch. The cable can now be free spooled out. Attach the winch cable hook to the bow eye of the boat. Power the winch in to tighten the cable. You can now use your track electric winch just as you would a manual one. 